The Collector is up there as one of the most tedious roles within the game. Yes, it does pay the most, but at the end of the day, it is just a walking simulator as you go from one point to another, just picking up collectibles. That's why in today's video, I'll be going through 25 updates that can dramatically improve this role. Before we do get into the video though, I want to let you know about a project that I've been working on. It's no secret that I've created a lot of gaming channels and because I've created so many, I know how to get them partnered in about one to two months without needing to promote them on other social media accounts. And I always get asked, how do I do it? That's why I've created an in-depth class on Skillshare. It goes through the basics of creating a new YouTube channel, but it quickly scales up into doing keyword research, planning videos, recording, editing, creating thumbnails, and eventually getting monetized, where you can actually start running your YouTube channel like a business by outsourcing the work. If you're interested in having your own gaming channel, then there is a link in the description down below, as well as you can find it as the pinned comment. And that will give you a free month of Skillshare where you can use that time to watch through my class. And at the end of it, you will understand everything that you need to know. So links to everything can be found in the description down below. Getting back into the video, the collector has had gameplay changes before. This includes the new collector sets as the fossils, plus we also had a money nerf. But it's fair to say that none of these were really exciting, which got people back into the collector role. That's why I've compiled a list of 25 different updates, which are part of fan requests. And hopefully this will make the collector role even better. The first one, new collection sets. Collector sets are great because they are infinitely scalable. The gameplay mechanics behind them doesn't need to change. There just needs to be new UI added to actually show that you're able to collect those collector sets. And number two, fans would like to see extra ranks. We have only had one expansion so far and this was full of Bounty Hunter and let's just say it didn't go down particularly well, but if they were to add extra ranks along with there being good stuff within those ranks, then fans will be happy. Also brings us on to point number three, and this is having new items which are worth unlocking. We're not just talking about cosmetic items that you can use and apply to your character. We need more items which are useful, such as the metal detector and the shovel. And number four, a new roll horse. It's been so long since we had a new roll added to the game, and because of it, it also leads to it being a very long time since we've had any type of new horse added to the game. Bringing in a new horse just to add on top of a collector expansion would be easy work on Rockstar's end, plus fans have been asking for it for quite some time. And if you are looking to get a new horse, it also makes sense, this is point number five, to bring in new saddle options. With the roll unlocks, normally there is a saddle available, but it's not really worth going for. The best saddle within the game is the Nakadosha saddle, and that's where most people go to. And number six, this is Posse Collection Sets. This was actually mentioned quite a few years back from Rockstar themselves within a Polygon interview. And even though it is fair to say that this content has been killed off and probably won't be coming, it hasn't stopped fans requesting it. So it would actually be nice for Rockstar to bring this back and make this an option. Very similar to this for update number seven, we have free roam posse collection missions. This will actually spice things up a bit where you can go through quick five, 10, 15 minute missions within free roam with your posse, and you will be able to be rewarded at the end with collectibles or even collector sets. And number eight, cinematic collectible missions, which yet again, you can enter with your posse. I honestly believe that the opportunities that we got with the Blood Money update would have been better if they were under the collector role. If Rockstar didn't advertise them as heists and just advertise them as new collectible opportunities, there wouldn't have been as much backlash as what there was with the Blood Money update. If they created more opportunities but didn't require you to have capitale for you to enter but just made them missions on a weekly basis similar to what we had with Bounty Hunter missions but they are specifically for the collector, I don't think there would have been as much of a problem. And number nine, new collector awards and daily challenges. The stuff that we're going through has been within the game for quite a few years and it's actually boring to go through. And number 10, new satchel upgrades to hold more collectibles as well as other types of items. It's crazy to me that we're at this stage within Red Dead Online and there isn't an option just to buy more satchel space or other types of satchel upgrades at Madame Nazar's shop. And number 11, the ability to trade in collectibles for exclusive items. The only real benefit that a collector offers is that it's a very easy way to earn money. 
but it's fair to say with the lack of content that's been added to the game there is a currency issue where a lot of the hardcore players have hundreds of thousands some even millions of dollars they can buy up everything the second it is released so instead of requiring you to have money to buy it you could just have collector sets which you can use to trade in to go and get different types of items and number 12 collect the missions that will give a different part of a collector item that can be used for your character this isn't you going around and being rewarded with a tarot card at the end no we're talking about an item that you can use whether it be cosmetic or something that has some functionality the easiest would be different types of clothing items as you could already expand the endless amount of possibilities that is already there with the items that are already within the game and number 13 an expansion to madame lazar's shop we do get an expansion with new masks every now and then once it comes to Halloween plus also April Fools, but it would be nice if there were other types of options. Maybe even finally add a place where you can buy horse masks, because the only way that you can get them is from outlaw passes or quick draw clubs. And number 14, more of a crossover with other types of roles within the game. This has happened more with the collector than any other role as you can use anti alcohol bottles within the Moonshiner and you can also go and use some of your jewelry sets as trinkets within the Naturalist. But there's so many other possibilities that could happen with you having collector sets which will improve your goods so you can sell them at a higher price with the trader. You could use them for cribs to make goods out of them which aren't there for you to be selling on but for you to actually use to customize your camp or even your moonshine shack and of course collector sets can still be used to expand to get more trinkets or more moonshine recipes number 15 we have one-off collector items these aren't sets that you'll go through this is you'll go to a location pick up a collectible item and that's it you've now got that item but these collectibles are more special as it actually brings in a use case that you can use for your character at 16 we have new weekly or even monthly collector sets now we do have a weekly rotation which requires you to have sets that are already within the game and i don't actually mean it like that what i actually mean is that we have collector sets right now which are only available for 24 hours and as soon as those sets are done it will then reset the following day we can have the exact same thing which is on a weekly or even a monthly cycle and by completing them you're able to get a much bigger reward at 17 we have more useful collectibles some of my favorite stuff is getting larry's revolver which was added as part of the moonshine update this was a small event which crossed over for both gta online where you needed to complete the serial killer plus also it then crossed over to red dead online after you completed it and got 50 kills it would be nice to have something like this except it not crossing over to gta for the whole process being within red dead online at 18 there should be a random ambush encounter at different collectible locations this would really start to spice things up instead of it just being a walking simulator of course it doesn't change anything dramatically but it is something added on top to show that other collectors or so npcs are actually looking for the same items and it brings in a bit of conflict whereas right now it is just going to a location and picking up the collectible and 19 open up a new way to sell fossils with deborah mcginnis one of my favorite times to record content was with the Natchez update because there was an option. I was able to record loads of different videos of the benefits of going to Gus McMillan or going to Harriet, whether or not you have samples or you're selling them as pelts. There is nothing like this with any of the other roles, but there is an opportunity with the collector as we do have Deborah McGuinness, which is from Story. And she is someone who is looking to collect all the fossils within the game. And we should make note that fossils are already within online. Very similar to this at number 20, we could also do something with the fossil locations within Story. Yes, we have the fossils in Red Dead Online, which you can go and collect. These are different locations each day, but there is also fossils just laying about. These are used within a story mode and you do need to go to each location and note them down in your journal and send them back to Deborah. Now for this, we can't use Deborah to find these because it is going to be found one year later. It wouldn't make sense for her to send us out to collect these fossils for Arthur to be sent out to collect these fossils again one year later. But this doesn't need to involve Deborah for this specific content. It could involve someone completely different and you could have a completely different activity of why you need to go and find these fossils. But these fossils are just laying there, not really doing anything when we are collectors and we have collected very similar other types of fossils. It's a bit of a weird one. 
at 21 and this is another character request and this is to bring in Marco Dragic. Marco is an inventor that you will meet within Red Dead Redemption 2 and unfortunately his ending isn't too great but as for Red Dead Online which is set one year before he's still alive and doing well. Some fans really like the idea of you having to go out and bring specific items back to Marco who will then transform them into different items that you can then use. For update number 22, add new collectibles at the different home robberies that was part of the Blood Money update. The only reason to go through these home robberies is to go and get Capitale and because most people don't really care about the opportunities, it makes going through these free roam home robberies kind of pointless. So this is where we should iterate and change the content so it's a bit more rewarding which does include you being able to find exclusive items within these homes. At 23 we should have a new infinite award similar to what we have with the bounty hunter. It's crazy that Rockstar haven't applied this to all of the previous roles considering it's very easy to do. But very similar to the bounty hunter where you need to go and get 10,000 XP and you can reset it and go for it an infinite amount of times, it should be the same with the collector. But not just that, it should also be applied to every single collector set option you have within the game. Selling 20 sets of each collector set is not an easy job. So having this cap out at 10 really doesn't make any sense. At 24, it would be nice to get some bug fixes for this role considering they've been part of the game ever since this role was first added. One that always comes to mind is when you are trying to sell a number of collector sets, it will start to freeze. As in, you'll have the icon in the bottom right hand corner which is telling you that the transaction is processing and it takes a very long time. And if you try to sell another set after that, it starts to take even longer. And finally, at 25, it would just be nice to have a sell all button. There is an option for you to sell exactly one of each set, but you can't have an option to sell all 10 at the same time. And likewise, if you want to sell everything because you have 10 of every set within the game, well, there's also not an option for that. This, yet again, really wouldn't be too difficult to add, so it would be nice if Rockstar could actually implement this. It will make life a hell of a lot easier for those that are collecting and looking to sell their collector sets as soon as they get them, especially considering there is no other option of what you can actually do with these items. But anyway guys, here are 25 different update requests that fans have asked for with the collector role. If you would like to see some changes with this role, which I haven't mentioned within this video, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. But anyway guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going to see ya.